what's going on guys this is Andrew Chicken and welcome back to another Minecraft video in this one we're going to be checking out something pretty cool uh, made out of command blocks in vanilla Minecraft it's pretty cool it is a I guess you'd call it an economy made in vanilla Minecraft using some fancy scoreboard techniques so uh, this is pretty cool that you can use on your like uh, multiplayer world or something I don't know you could use it on a completely vanilla server if you wanted to uh, but nonetheless it is pretty cool so if you guys enjoy this video be sure to drop a like on it and uh, subscribe if you're new because well uh, I'm, I'm a cool dude I'm I'm just kidding that's kind of kind of I, I don't know <laughs> well yeah subscribe if you're new if you guys want to see more cool stuff like this uh, fancy economy things and uh, yeah with that being said let's get straight into this so I am on a mock vanilla server because that's probably where you'd see this the most we got a fancy house over there i might have built that yeah definitely i built that got a boat and uh we've got this thing right here v welcome to chicken server this is some floating text and i'll show you guys how to make all that in a uh separate video as well as if you see to the right my uh scoreboard i have me as an admin with a fancy red prefix i have johnny the trader who was a villager over there but he died uh, with a gold prefix, and we've got getting one weight X with another gold prefix. So uh, I'll show you guys how to do that in a separate video. But in this video, we're going to be checking out the economy. As you can see, I have like nine million dollars. I'm rich <laughs> because well, I'm an addict. So over here, this is the bank. This is how you get money. So if you're getting one weight X and have zero dollars, this is where you go to get money. You can trade in diamonds for fifty-five dollars, gold for eight dollars, or emeralds for sixty-five dollars. So I'm going to go ahead and give myself some uh, diamonds. Uh, diamonds, there we go. And uh, I'm invincible, by the way. And uh, we can go ahead and right-click this. And as you can see, it says transaction successful. And I got some money over here. So if I do that again, you can see on the right, my s score on the player's uh, thingy increases, the scoreboard. And I can just keep doing this until I give all $64, or 64 diamonds. I get a crap ton of money. Look at like It's like $3,000 or something like that. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. And then over here is the shop where you can go spend that money on uh, spawn eggs. So we've got a sp skeleton spawn egg. We've got a zombie spawn egg. I guess those are for trolls. I don't know why I put them there. Got a horse spawn egg, and we've got a villager spawn, spawn egg if you want to get, like, a cartographer or something. Because, you know, we're in 1.11 now. This is cool stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and buy a villager because I want to get more emeralds, and that means more money. So if I right-click this, look on the right, you can see my money goes down. I get a villager, and it says transaction successful. And um, yeah, now I have a villager. Let's 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 see what he is. He's a, 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 but a leather worker. All right. So uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and pop into a, another world, um, a super flat world, because you know I I like flat things. And we will go ahead and check out each and every one of the commands that make all this cool stuff possible. All right, so I am here in a fancy-looking super flat world, uh, nothing but grass, and these beautiful-looking command blocks. And uh, it looks kind of complicated. This one right here, the longer one, is for uh, selling or buying things, and this one right here is for selling things like diamonds for, to get money. So basically, the first thing you want to do is go ahead, and you can just type this in the chat. You don't need a command block for it. And by the way, to get a command block, just type slash give at p. C O M M and then press tab and you get a command block like that. It's fancy stuff. So the first thing you want to do is type in uh, just in your uh, chat bar slash scoreboard objectives add set. Oh, uh, n what, what am I doing? Um, and then you want to type in the name of this. In this case, it's going to be money dummy or not, not death count dummy. And this basically allows you to manipulate the variables in it so you can, like, add stuff to it, subtract stuff to it, and uh, set it's like, I don't know, 10 million or something like that. And then just type in the display name after that, and you have successfully created money. And then you want to go ahead and add yourself to this scoreboard. Uh, so you can do slash scoreboard players add at P10. Or at actually, uh, where is it that you need the, uh, yeah, the, score, the uh, scoreboard objective right there. And then I set yourself to like ten dollars. I don't know. So now I have ten dollars in that scoreboard. And then finally, you can go ahead and do slash scoreboard objectives set display sidebar, and then money. And now, you, as you can see, um, let me set it today real quick. Uh, time set day. As you can see on the right, I have ten dollars because I'm a rich man. Yeah. <laughs> so. And by the way, all of these commands, 
um, including the ones I just typed, will be down in the uh, description below. So you guys can just, you know, copy and paste these into there if you're lazy and don't feel like typing anything. I feel like that way. I feel that way sometimes. Don't ask questions. So the second thing you want to do is uh, this is for this row of command blocks, but not for this one. Uh, you want to go ahead and create a second scoreboard, basically doing the same thing we just did up there. So I can go ahead and like cop, uh, come up into here. And then you just want to add like a, a C in front of each of these. So for copy of money. And this is basically going to act as a duplicate of your money scoreboard. So um, basically this is going to be copying we're going to we're going to copy money over into the C money using these command blocks for the uh, transactions because you're going to be using it to some like ma fancy maths and stuff and basically determine whether you can actually buy something in this separate scoreboard. So what you want to go ahead and do is go ahead and add another player right here. You want to cop you want to do this command again but replace at p with price for the price of whatever you're doing and then over here this uh this number right here, you're going to go ahead and set that to whatever your price is going to be. Um, so let's go ahead and do like $200. I don't know. So now, pro oh, I did that to money. Why did I do that? All right, let's go ahead and set this to C money. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove scoreboard players, remove price, money. Up th there. Up. Hold on. Why did I do that? I Hold on, give me a minute. All right, so I got Price out of the uh, scoreboard. Good, goodbye, Price. <laughs> you will be missed. Um, if if there's anybody actually called Price in Minecraft, uh, hi. Sorry, I'm using your name. Uh, j just go with it. All right. Um, so the first row of command blocks is how you actually get your money, and we're going to be trading diamonds. So uh, let me get some diamonds real quick, and we will go through each and every one of these commands. So the first command right here in this command block. Is basically a test for command, so it tests if you have diamonds in your inventory, which, as you can see down here, we do. So basically, uh, tests for at p inventory stuff, blah blah blah. This will all be down in the description below if you guys want to do that, uh, and if you want to just like type this out, go ahead and do that. And then over here, these next three are chain command blocks, uh, which you can modify by clicking this button. They're conditional, meaning that they will only run. If the player has a diamond in their inventory, so you can toggle that right there, and they have to be always active or else they won't run. So, this second command block does, basically it removes one of the diamonds from the player's inventory. And you have to have the zero there or else it'll just do some funny, funky thing and remove what, however many diamonds are in the player's inventory. So it would remove all 64 diamonds from me. And then this command block right here is, well, basically adds stuff to the... Uh, player's value in money. So in this case, uh, it adds $50 to the nearest player, which would be me. And then this last one is just for aesthetics. It's a slash tell raw command, so it tells something to the nearest player. This text right here, which says transaction successful, and then it states the color, uh, which is green. And this command will also be in the description. Uh, and if you don't know how to do Telra commands, let me know and uh, I'll give you a tutorial on that because Telra is pretty cool. You get to do fancy colorful things. So let's go ahead and click this button right here and I should get some money. So as you can see, it says transaction successful. I now have one less diamond and I have $60 where I originally had 10 So then that, that works fine and dandy. And then over here, why did I just say that? That's weird. <clears throat> so this works uh, pretty well. Uh, Pretty cool, yeah. And then this second row of command blocks, a bit longer, you get two more command blocks, a big deal. This is a little bit, well, a, a lot more complex. So the first command block right here uh, is basically a operation done, uh, so slash scoreboard players operation, that basically, um, if we look over here, it says every, or it says every single player in C money equal to every single player in money so you have like every single player on and it basically takes their it sets their score in C money to their score in money so if I like when I press this T money will have my score of 60 and then in this command block this is a chain command block that is unconditional and so that that should be default 
This second command block is a command that basically says scoreboard players operation, and it subtracts price's score in C money from the nearest player in C money, which would be me. So my score would be negative uh, 140 because it would be subtracting 200 from 60, but it would be in the C money, so my money wouldn't actually change. This command block right here tests for if I have uh, if my money is greater than zero and or greater than or equal to zero. So in this case, it wouldn't be, and these next few command blocks wouldn't run. But if I go ahead and trade in a few more diamonds, so I get two hundred ten dollars. Uh, there we go. I will be able to buy uh, in this instance a beacon because beacons are cool. It kind of sounds like bacon. Not sure why. Um, in here, this next command block is conditional, and these next two uh, other ones are conditional. This is basically the same command block over there, just duplicated over here. Then this command block right here gives player a bacon yes <laughs> and then this final command block right here is it basically subtracts prices score and or subtracts your actual score money from price and C money so I have two hundred ten dollars price is two hundred if I click this button I now have ten dollars I have a beacon it says transaction successful everything seems to have gone good and if I click this button again no beacon no subtraction money and transaction successful or no transaction successful and if I go ahead and slash scoreboard objectives set display sidebar C money you can see I have negative one hundred ninety dollars so it is doing the math perfectly now I have found this to be the slight slightest bit buggy on um, when I was playing with some friends but it it still works pretty good if you just keep in mind that, you know, I can't buy something if I only have $190 and it costs $200. Because, like, it was bugging so that you would subtract it and put you in debt. So, um, not sure what's up with that. But, you know, I'm pretty sure there's a fix somewhere. So, uh, yeah, that's the end of this video, guys. Um, I have created a, that you can see my back. I have, this is a cool looking economy thing that you can use on a multiplayer server and it should be pretty fun and now you know how to build it so that's that's good yeah so uh yeah i'd like to thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time probably for uh, the, the the second part of videos I, I i don't know whatever i said i was going to do in the beginning of the video and uh, by the way guys i've gotten no comments on whether i should play paladins or civilization 5 in place of my civilization 3 series so uh please somebody comment I want to know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, d you can comment on my Facebook, which is down in the description or in just in the comments below. Just let me know what I should play, okay? Thank you. Goodbye.